when something goes wrong in your body or you're being poisoned or something changes in your body that could be because of a doctor and their faulty medications and their side effects that they don't even accurately know what they are or the fact that the doctor doesn't measure people very well at all they don't measure their genetics or you're using a toxin or a poison or there's also foods can poison you you have allergies you get infections all different reasons for for illnesses and poor health that cause you to gain weight cause you to need medicine that causes more harm that causes uh basically a snowball effect that's all guilty okay and it's from not knowing medicine very well it's also from addiction and depression and the the woes of society and the the toxic things that are being developed new things that come onto the market that aren't really good for you or things that have been on the market that are that were never really good for you um just all different things that you thought you knew that become a big problem in your life even the medicine that doctors prescribe even the therapies that doctors proclaim even the foods that you're eating in the wrong dosages and how they affect your body when you have an illness and how they can get worse unless you cut it all out you have to simplify and reduce when you're ill when you're ill the biggest key is simplification and reduction and when you know a medication is causing you more harm than it's doing you any benefit it's time to sue the doctor they lie about these medications and they lie about their diagnosis abilities they lie about their treatment they lie about the science and the law behind the science of medicine i found it to be true i'm a patient starting in 2001 2002 i've been seeing doctors ever since and this is december 3rd 2022 i'm 40 years old i started seeing doctors when i was about 20 and ever since my health has went downhill just constantly getting bad when it probably really shouldn't be bad i should be a lot healthier but i i am making some bad choices which i'm getting better at i'm learning how to manage my food my i can't i can no longer eat bread i'm allergic to a lot of different things um and i think people are naturally allergic to foods and they don't even know it I think all people have some allergies to certain foods that, that are allergic to all people, such as like coffee. Coffee can cause anyone to have slight allergies or even sometimes coffee can make people really sick. And I'm one of those people. I also cannot eat bread because it causes me extreme constipation. So I have to cut out coffee, bread. I smoke cigarettes. That's really bad for you but i'm addicted and it it just keeps me idle it's how i manage my depression is smoking cigarettes and drinking coffee but it's so bad for me um it, it's i i am learning how to get away from it so i started drinking a lighter dose of tea and more water i also quit drinking soda pop because it is horrible and makes you gain a ton of weight because of the sugar and the citric acid in the in the pop and the phosphoric acid in cola can cause all sorts of health problems you constantly drink soda pop you cannot do that you shouldn't drink more than one soda pop a day at best um 
it's just toxic and it just fills your body full of rub rubbish crap that you don't need and it, it's harmful it, and, and as you continue this downtrend cycle of the snowball effect you just keep wanting to pile on more and more and more it becomes an addiction that you have to feed until you struggle through the heartache and the pain of learning how to fix that and reducing everything your stomach can't get in the right place you're not eating the right foods you're not taking the right medicines your doctors are telling you lies they don't have the science to back up their claims medical claims you don't know how to cure yourself there's a whole snowball effect they didn't measure your DNA they didn't take images of your body they, they don't measure all the proteins in, in the, the way of biochemistry. They don't know the human species very well. They don't know if we're, we're meant to be a certain way. And this all leads to medical malpractice. Everyone at some point is probably guilty of medical malpractice just because you eat and drink and breathe air okay almost anything can be too much even air even water you have to use something else so think about that